Machines in Doctor Who are really interesting. Actually, machines in science fiction are really interesting. You've got all kinds of gadgets and machines that will get you into space, get you around. Like just the other episode of Doctor Who, he had an anti-gravity bike that he went up the side of the Shardin. Now, there are a few problems with that, but you know, it's Doctor Who. He can basically do anything. He's a genius. Machines are wonderful and Doctor Who has loads of them, loads of gadgets and probably two of the most famous or maybe three of the most famous are the TARDIS, the Daleks Outer Shell and also the Sonic Screwdriver. Well, the TARDIS, the idea of the TARDIS uh, comes from H.G. Wells's The Time Machine, which was written in 1895. Um, there's a guy from Cardiff called Terry Nation who was one of the first writers in Doctor Who in the early 60s and he borrowed the idea, of the, tar the idea of the time machine to make the TARDIS so that you could move freely in time and space. The dominant monsters in the uh, monster theme of the science of Doctor Who are human beings. There are many monsters depicted in Doctor Who, but I, I normally think of those as being associated with space. So the alien is a kind of animated version of space. But humans tend to be uh, at least in the rest of science fiction as well as Doctor Who, perhaps the scariest monsters. What's the scariest monster? That's the real question. Doctor Who tries to scare you. People used to like Doctor Who because it made them hide behind seats. It's like hide behind a sofa, stick your head up and watch Doctor Who then hide again. That's what Doctor Who's all about, making you a bit scared but at the same time making you feel a wonder about the world around you. It was originally written, as Mark probably said, to be an exploration of history and science. So his original partners was a historian and a scientist. So actually, when you look at Doctor Who, it's trying to explore things to the limits of our imaginations and trying to almost bring it down to us or in our TV screens. So Doctor Who and monsters, there's loads of them. What's your scariest monster? You're going to see a lot of them in our show. <laughs>